Hello, Virgo. Rambling Mike here. Can play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you uh, reaching out, hitting that like button while you're thinking about it. If you haven't hit that subscription button, thanks for doing that now. I always uh, want to take a minute for gratitude. So a big thank you to all my Virgos that have uh, reached out and blessed me with uh, financial donations. Thank you so very much for that. I appreciate them all, large or small. Very kind of you. Many of you are very big givers. Virgo, if you've blessed me with a donation, thank you. And, you know, a big shout out and thank you uh, to all my Virgos that have reached out for private readings with me. And, you know, have, oh, look at this, man. The uh, Nine of Pentacles jumped out. That is my Virgo card. You know, that's my independent, self-assured, confident business person. Hmm. I like that. Uh, I want to thank everybody that's uh, reached out for private readings with me, bought my tarot decks, my oracle decks. You guys keep me quite busy. Thank you for all of that. And, of course, a big thank you to my members of Rambler Nation. I love you guys. Uh, one of the perks is that you get to see many of these videos beforehand. Um, this one I did not produce early. It coming out Sunday morning. And um, the real perk is that if you want a reading with me, the best way to get one is to find that join button and hit that join button. And then send me a text, Mike, I'm a member of Ramblin' Nation. I would like a reading with you. And that's because uh, I get many, many requests. I can't do them all. So I uh, need to uh, put people up in the front of the line. That's the best way I can do it. They've joined their energy with me. So thanks, guys, for all that. I'm going to be here for a minute. So if you don't want to hear my announcements, go get yourself a cup of coffee or a little glass of wine because I'm going to give you a full spread right here soon and very soon. I uh, definitely want to uh, uh, talk about, um, oh, I, I, oh, thank you, forgive me, it's Sunday morning. Uh, shout out to a couple of people, tarot readers that have joined me on uh, Ramblin' Nation, Royal Lion Tarot, check her out, uh, her name's Renee, uh, funny, entertaining, enlightening, um, more please, Renee, thank you very much. Gin TV Tarot had uh, joined with me. Uh, again, funny, entertaining, enlightening, informative. I, I like Jen. More, more please, Jen. And uh, somebody new that signed up with me is Aquarius Rising Tarot. Looked like she had, took a little hiatus from YouTube for a season, but she's back with us and she joined Ramblin' Nation and I wanted to give her a shout out. Aquarius Rising Tarot, more, more please. Thank you very much. I, I, uh, I encourage you to check them all out. I, I enjoyed all of those people's videos right there. And um, about the event, got a uh, meet and greet coming up in Burbank, California, the 21st and the 22nd. Um, I'm still go for it as of Sunday morning, the 15th. It's going to be the 21st and 22nd, so there's only a few short days. Um, talking with the owner of the building at this particular point in time, uh, Burbank, California, is going to have a city council meeting on Wednesday about the size of the event that they are allowing to. He told me it looks good, Mike. So we're going to see. I will keep you definitely informed about it, but I am going for it. And many of my readers are very excited about it as well. Um, I put out a whole bunch of uh, videos on the event. Check them out in my playlist, Burbank Meet and Greet. Not just me, but all these readers down below. They're all very excited. We put together some amazing workshops and all kinds of fun stuff. And it still looks like a green go on it. So I'm very excited about it and looking forward to it. I will keep you more informed. You know, I, I let the powers that be, if they're going to allow us to have that door open, we're going to have our party. Hmm? That's that's just it right there. Why not? If they say we can have a party, I think it's a great time for a party, huh? 
More cheers, less fears. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, all right, Virgo, let's play some cards right here. Thanks for listening to all my announcements. You guys are the best. I hope you got your coffee or your wine, because I'm going to play cards with you for a while right here. I'm going to give you a full spread. I'm not going to give you half the story and go, well, you need to change the channel, go somewhere else, finish the story. What? <laughs> All right, it's going to be a love story for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. You tell me in the comments if you see yourself in this story right here. You tell me in the comments if you see your friend that you're desiring in the comments. You tell me in the comments if, if there's a friend in this story that you don't want in this story no more and how you told him to kick rocks. You tell me. You tell me my Virgo friends. As I ask Source to put these out for per first perspective, for who's ever looking at these right here, be they Virgo or or anybody. But you know, they can play out vice versa. It's an adult channel. So let's, let's use our intuition, our psychic abilities, and all those giftings that we all have. All right. Chopping the cards for Virgo, love team Virgo, Virgo. Here we go. Let's go with this. I'm going to tune in, hey, Tarry Love Team. Virgo's here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for the highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see. Help me speak what I need. Help Virgo see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Virgo's highest good. Thank you so very much for that, Love Team. Cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Big breath. Cutting the deck. Let's see what the cards have to say, huh? Going to throw out an entire spread with the Celtic Cross. Confirmation over the entire thing with the Witch's Tarot. Definitely a handful of the Mystic Moon. Handful of the Romance Angels. And definitely two or three of the Major Arcana from the Starman. David Bowie Tarot deck. Here we go, Virgo. First card out. The Queen of Wands right there. Fire Energy. Aries Leo. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. No Queen of Wands is somebody good looking, somebody charismatic, somebody passionate about life, the life of the party, somebody magic. We'll figure out who it is here in a minute, if it's you or if it's them. Got the old black cat right there in the middle of their lap, you know. This is Witchy Poo. You know, this is somebody that knows their worth and they're not sure the worthiness that they're worthy of. They will move on. Now, you are earth energy, but it could very well, I mean, these face cards could very well be your energy. But there could be a fire sign involved in somebody's life right here. Let's see where this goes, huh, Virgo? Wow, the emperor came out. Aries, seated in his power, a major arcana, major life force card. Fire energy again. Sacred masculine energy showed up in this spread. Shows the emperor right there looking at a new world. Don't look like the sun be shining all that brightly in the emperor's world. He's crossed over top of the queen of wands. Huh. The Emperor. Somebody could think you're doggone good looking, Virgo, by the way. The old Emperor right there. Mm -hmm. Successful entrepreneur energy. Yeah, I like it. Interesting opening right here. Fire and fire. There's a lot of passion here, Virgo, between you and somebody, that's for sure. Somebody thinks you're good looking, exciting, charismatic, passionate, magic. And they be looking at their new world. That's the emperor looking at his new world right there. Has his armor on because they've been in the battle. But they ain't in the battle no more. They're just sitting in that big granite throne. Maybe they're looking for some stability in their life. But they're Virgo. They're very passionate. Queen of Wandsy. Virgo right here. Here we go. Oh, the lovers at the base of the spread. Another major arcana, major life force card. It's Gemini. May mean something to you, may not. You know, it shows all of our characters here. There, there, there's somebody over there with their forest burning up. I got the other one over here leaning up against the old apple tree being all seductive. Hey, lover, you know it's over here. 
Got Raphael up above him going, come on, peeps. We got Eden in the middle. This is the story of the closing of the gap between some divines here. Soulmate, twin flame, life partner energy at the base of the spread. Sacred masculine energy staring straight up at the old queen of wands who knows her worth. Somebody, you know, because the lover's card, especially with this deck for me, it can be about somebody making a choice between lovers. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I like it. Wow. Another major arcana, Virgo. Get ready for some serious change. If this is what you've been, if this is what you're wanting, got the death card came out. Scorpio energy in the house. And the death card's about death, birth, and resurrection, you know? And it's sitting right here by the old emperor. <laughs> and the lover's card. It looks to me like something may have ended in somebody else's life. Causing major transformation, you know? <laughs> a, a little magic one right here. Maybe maybe the emperor feel like somebody put love spell number five on their ass. You know what I'm talking about, Virgo? I like this, man. Death, birth, and resurrection. Three major arcana out of four cards so far for Virgo. Gemini, Scorpio, and Aries may mean something to you, may not. Here we go. And our queen of love, crowning the spread, huh? my empath, the one with psychic abilities, my dreamer, my healer. huh? Wow, agape love, crowning the top of the spread right here. That is water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, sun, moon, rise, and Venus. We have two queens on the spread, male or female. Uh, queens are always about, uh, well, passion and emotions. I see passion and emotions in this spread. It certainly looks to me like somebody right here, male or female, that emperor right there in the middle of the spread, is being wooed in by the love power of my Virgo right here. It looks to me like major transformations happen in their life. Definitely something ended for them. Their force is on fire. And they're heading on over to that tree right there, that old apple tree, huh? <laughs> here we go. Oh, look what's coming in here for you. Six of Pentacles. Now that's very nice. Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, huh? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Six of Pentacles talks about equal give and take. Oh, my goodness, we got the transformation card right here with the old emperor. Male or female, huh? This is a major transformation coming on. They know if they want to come in and play with their queen of fire and their queen of love, that they have to come in with equal give and take. Mm, I like all this, man. This is nice, Virgo. Two of wands, fire energy right there. <clears throat> Two of wands. See, I got our, I got our emperor looking at a world right there. And this sits in the position of, of you and how you would see yourself at this time. At a crossroads, you know, and it's sitting by the lovers too. So it's about your choice about a lover. They probably had a death cycle going on in their life. See, because two of wands is about my character. He's looking at his world right there. He's at the crossroads right there. You know, and th th there's a little wall right here. Two of Wands is about pressing through that little wall, stepping over that little wall. Go ahead and manifesting what you want. But being at the crossroads, you know, do I want to press through that little wall right there? They, ha they, they are going to need to come in with Six of Pentacles right here because wherever they've been, man, their forest is all burned up. They don't got no forest no more. <laughs> Uh, not the death card falling all that, man. Here we go. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Uh-huh. The old crossroads there. Because Seven of Swords sits right on top of the Emperor and the Queen of Wands who knows her worth. And if you don't show her how amazing she is, she will move on. She's gifted, insightful. I mean, you can't, you can't Seven of Swords this, this person no more, male or female. They're very intuitive. 
And so Seven of Swords showing up right here on top of the Emperor and the, and the Queen of Wands tells me that this is somebody that's got a broken ass heart. They had the two swords over the other shoulder talking about the land of indecision. They're definitely looking over their shoulder at the two swords that they left in the camp right there. So sneaky. So sneaky. And it doesn't surprise me the two of wands is right there. And, and, the, and the lover's choice is now on Virgo's side. About probably a divine right here with the emperor and the lover's card. Probably some kind of deep soulmate connection. Generally, at first, I mean, they start out hot and heavy and passionate, and then somebody gets all squirrely whirly in them, huh? And then, uh, generally, somebody sets squirrely whirly down in the old timeout chair and uh, lets them live without this amazing energy, this Queen of Wands and this Queen of Cups. Who's not going to recognize that they had that in their life at one time? Mm hmm. Well, the one that's for us on fire, they recognize that the old death cycle made your transformation, you know. And old Sneaky right there, coming prancing back in, two of wands. I don't know, we're going to take a look at this at kind of a crossroads right now. Ace of cups, though, but, but you know what? Somebody's heart's going boom, da -de boom, da -de boom, 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 huh, Virgo? And that's the thing about the divine and, and trust the fact that uh, if you have set them in the timeout chair, that their heart goes boom, da -de boom, da -de boom, boom, boom for you as well. You know, pull on the heartstrings of their heart chakra a little bit, huh? Ace of Cups definitely talks about a direct connect with the divine. Ace of Cups definitely talks about loving yourself first, healing your heart, healing your mind. Ace of Cups talks about love and all the possibilities. And Ace of Cups talks about some unspoken love that could be spoken soon and very soon. I like this, man. Here we go. Land Two of Swords is on top of the spread right there. Again, the old land of indecision. But the winds of change have begun to blow here in this situation. See her hair blowing back? And the winds of change, you know, and, and just protecting the heart right there. Protecting the heart. You know, my queen of love. There's love here. There's strong love here, but this person wasn't good to you. Oh, look at the bottom of the deck. It's really nice, Virgo. Very encouraging spread, to be honest with you, man. As the world card talks about old cycles ending and new cycles coming in. Well, the old cycle that I see right here is old Sneaky going through a death cycle. And the old emperor looking at his world because he wants the sun to shine in their world and knowing that they need to come in with six pinnacles, equal give and take. That's the old cycle I see here and the new cycle that has the potential to come in. But, you know, it's all about you seeing yourself as that golden angelic being, seeing the world as your oyster. And do la la, here comes my pearl of great prize. Nice, man. You have to go through all 21 steps of the Major Arcana to get to this Major right here, huh? Been through school, man. I do got the old Three of Swords, so there was definitely some heartache and some heartbreak from old Sneaky right here. Uh-huh. Your call. Always your call, because these Divines are going to start showing back up. And they are. Watch as the readings continue to go through the spring and the summer right here. But, I mean, as you've raised your vibration right here, you know, becoming this queen of wands and this queen of love, don't be surprised if soulmates show up here, too. And that's what all these twos can talk about. Virgo, is there somebody else that's uh, fluttering around you these days? Could it be one of these two queens right here? And then the emperor comes showing back up? Could that be the story I'm looking at as well? Wouldn't surprise me. Oh, three of swords right there, because, you know, who wants swordsies through the heart? Nobody. And Virgo, if you're dealing with this, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to shake these out right now. Are you ready? Here we go. Out, out, out. Get out of Virgo's heart. Out. I do like the world card. It talks about a completion of an old cycle and a new cycle coming in. And if there are two people that want to play with you, one of them being old transformation sneaky right here, and one of them being somebody else, may the best one win my Virgo. That's what I'm talking about, huh? 
I do got the swim card coming out after all that, huh? It's the best card in the tarot deck. It's Leo, may mean something to you, may not. It's about abundance, prosperity, the good life, the joy, the happiness. Now, I definitely see change in somebody's world right here. And there may be, there may be a lot of, uh, uh, opportunities for you with Seven of Cups, but I do got the world behind that, you know. Old cycles ending and new cycles coming in here for my Virgos. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I see Virgo in the land of indecision. They were in the land of indecision. But Virgo may be in the land of indecision. I got two face cards here on the spread and the Emperor showing back up, you know. Why? Because <laughs> Virgo may be off uh, playing with somebody else right now. Who's ever looking at this? Because this can play out vice versa. Generally for who's ever looking at the video right here. This is nice, man. Let's uh, play with the Witch's Tarot on top of this. See if we can get a little clarity on this. Because what I see right here is somebody that wasn't good to Virgo. Coming back in, knowing that they need to come in with six pinnacles, Virgo at crossroads, although the heart is going boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom for both of these two between each other. But, uh, you know, somebody's protecting their heart up here. Somebody has had major transformation. There is the world card on here. So it is an ending of an old cycle, an ending of an old cycle of heartache and heartbreak for my Virgos, is what I'm seeing right here, and the sun coming in here for you. It's nice. It's nice. All right. Queen of Wands and the Emperor. Why are they on the spread for Virgo, please? Thank you, love team. Got a strength card. You know, that's taming the beast within. Got a lot of fire right here. That's Leo. And, and, and again, sitting by the death card, oh, sneaky right there. Sneaky may have, I mean, I'm telling you, of course, the proof's in the love pudding, huh? But uh, these cards are telling me that if you were dealing with Sneaky right here, the one that had her damn forest on fire, that there's been some major transformation in their life with this death card right here. And the, this is taming the beast within, you know? If you've been trying to tame a beast within who's ever looking at this video, this tell me that it is happening right there. See our lady in the white. She's the hero of the story with the infinity symbol above her head. And look at how tame that beast is right there. That lion has changed, you know. Because this person right here is pretty damn magic. That's for sure. Huh, Virgo? Pretty damn magic right there. Somebody's taming the beast within. Coming in with six pinnacles, equal, give or take. But again, like I've seen in all of these videos lately, nobody's jumping right up and going, oh, so glad you decided to show up. Huh. Now the choice has changed right here with two of wands and the lovers for my Virgo. Lover's card. Why is it on the spread for Virgo, please? Three of Wands definitely tells me that you had your eye on somebody for a while. But, you know, that's a card of using law of attraction. And those ships just can't, because he's looking at ships right there. Those ships just can't dock up any way. They need to come into port correctly. Huh. I like it, man. I like it. I mean, this is really magic. Who's ever this is right here. The transformation that you've caused in this person's life. I like it. Death card right here, please. Death card. Why is it on this spread? Yeah, eight of wands. Eight of wands right there. Cupid's arrows of love flying through the air. Quick. Fast communication coming in from somebody that's trying to transform. They're trying to tame the beast with inside of themselves. They know they need six pinnacles. They're shooting Cupid's arrows of love through the air with six pinnacles attached to them. I like it, to be honest with you. Major transformation. The metamorphosis has happened right here. Queen of love. Agape love crowning this spread. Why is the queen of love here? Thank you. 
<laughs> Isn't this too funny, man? Got our little page of wands right there. Hi, Virgo. Hi, Virgo. <laughs> Remember me? Hi. Hi. There may be an age difference right here. Got the world card, native wands, or maybe distance between these two people. Hi, Virgo. Remember me? I, I definitely remember you. You're the great nurturer. Um, um, maybe we can talk? It's a communication card. It, it follows eight of wands, too. You know, it's a communication card. It's something probably that both of you have wanted for a while. Passionate communication between you two. Six of Pentacles, please. Why is it on this spread for Virgo? Thank you. Thank you, love team. Here we go. Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Why well, is Six of Pentacles here? Oh, because, yeah, baby, Nine of Pentacles. There's my Virgo card. It jumped out at the beginning. Oh, Nine of Pentacles, my independent, self-assured, confident business person right here, male or female, uh, for who's ever looking at this video, man. This is somebody put it together. They got it going on. Of course this person noticed you. Of course they have. Of course. <laughs> I'm going to say it one more time. Of course they've noticed you because you got a slap flat going on right here with nine pentacles. And this is generally somebody that's single. It's somebody that chooses to be single. They don't have to be single. They could have anybody they want. But generally they've been waiting for a little knucklehead to figure it out right here. I like it, man. And they're, and they're expecting their knucklehead to come in with six pentacles of equal give and take because I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I got nine pentacles. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And so we got somebody taming the beast inside themselves. Major transformation. Looks to me like they're going to reach out to you. Who's ever looking at this video? Because you are the great nurturer. The spiritual one. This, this has caused this Virgo to have great spiritual awakening with inside of themselves. Amazing. And uh, not going to let this person steal that from you or steal your self-love or any of that from you ever again or anybody else. From what I can see here. Two of Wands, please. Yo, Crossroads. Why is it here? Uh, the old um, a Major Arcana. The Virgo card came out. The Hermit. Again, many of you may have been single for a season. And this is a card, you know, it's the great sage. Spending time with source, your grandpa, your grandma, who's ever on the other side, your angels, your higher self, the other part of you that stays in the 5D. You know, healing yourself, being led and guided by the divine. It's a card of astrological alignments lining up for you. Because you spent time with Source in the midst of this journey. And it became very spiritual, didn't you? Wow, nice. Seven of Swords. Oh, sneaky. Why are they on this spread for my Virgo? Eight of Cups. Yeah, you walked away from them, didn't you? You walked away from them to head out to go find your ninth cup of wish fulfillment. <laughs> Definitely found nine pentacles, didn't you? Nice. They know, man, that if they don't come in right, that you'll walk away from them again. They know that. They don't want that. Ace of Cups. Why is Ace of Cups on the spread for my Virgos? Yeah, here they come, charging in. By my little Knight of Sword. Ba-dum, 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 dun, 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 dun. Virgo, Virgo. You know. This is somebody nervous as a cat on a hot tin roof because they know they owe you about a thousand apologies. And they're going to come in fast right there, eight of wands, because they don't know what's going to happen. And that way they can get out again real fast, too, if you decide to eight of cups their ass one more time. Yeah. They want to charge in and get this cup of love. Two swords, please, for Virgo. I like it, man. I like this whole spread, Virgo. Beautiful. You are magic. Two swords. Seven of cups. 
Now, Seven of Cups, and I told you that there's some Virgos here that got a lot of options. That's because you've done a hell of a lot of work on yourself. But you know, this old wizard on Seven of Cups, he's got his finger pointed at us, and he goes, no, the fact that what you own, owns you. Hmm. It's really kind of hard. I Meaning my Virgo's at, or who's ever looking at this video? Where yeah, because you got it going on, man. You do. But uh, bottom of the deck, I got my Princess of Pentacles. Back to our little character right here. That may be younger than you. Hey, Virgo. I found this. I found this really big golden coin, Virgo. You know, it's the cornerstone of the quintessential universal dream, huh? The little white picket fence and the big pink house. Again, I see an age difference here, possibly, huh? Virgo, maybe we can take a walk past this old cherry blossom tree of good luck and good fortune. Virgo, maybe we can go out and have a cup of coffee and talk. and change the cycle that's been going on between us. The world card, again. And the king of love. The last tarot card I'm going to pull out matches up with the queen of love on top. This is somebody that loves you very deeply, Virgo. They love you very deeply. But they've had a tendency in the past not to let you know how deeply they feel about you. This dam is about to break right here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man, nice. All right, Mystic Moon on this, please. A couple of Mystic Moons that go along with this story right here. Here we go. Here we go. Mystic Moon, what you got for us? Thank you, love team. Settling. See, somebody was settling. And, you know, the old wizard right there telling everybody don't settle. Let's get the right one. This Virgo been waiting for the right one to come in. Somebody realized they were settling. Probably this person whose force is on fire right there, huh? They want the real deal anymore, man. They want the Virgo. Very spiritual, very magic, very passionate Virgo right here. What do we got? Yeah, healing. This is nice, man. This is nice. The sun card is the outcome here. This is nice. Somebody wants to heal. Both of these people want to heal. It's a little pause. Pause jumped out right there, but that's the sun card right in the middle of her hand. So you may have another minute or two in this love story that's unfolding. One more for Virgo. Yeah, that's what it's all about, ain't it? For you and for them. That's what these journeys are all about. Us learning how amazing we are. Mm hmm No. Oh. Bottom of the deck. I got, you know, there, there's healing and self-worth. This Virgo's done this work. And I got somebody coming in that wants to make a compromise with you. They talking. Huh? They've been settling. They don't want to settle no more. They don't want to settle. You know what they want? They want your forgiveness. Because of all this shit back here, man. They scared you're going to walk away from them. They know you got options with Seven of Cups. They see. They see, man. They love you very deeply. And that's why they're going to come in with Six of Pentacles right here. Could be a story of between some twin flames right here. Mm-hmm. And could be a story about the awakening of a divine masculine. This is nice, man. And the balancing of the scales. Because you are highly admired by them. And wherever they've been, they've been through some serious-ass destruction. You know, a forest been on fire, and they want a new start. Because it's divine timing. 
And I want to come out of this darkness. This is crazy, man. And I want to return. And they're being guided. There's that hermit's lantern right there. Of course, this ain't for everybody, but this is definitely for somebody right here in Amazing Virgo. This is dealing with all of this journey right here. And this is because you've done the work on the inside of yourself. These journeys are about you. They're not about them. Once we figure that out, these come together real quick, huh? It's all about self-worth and self-love, realizing how amazing you are. It is about forgiveness, isn't it? Because forgiveness isn't for them. Forgiveness is for us. How could it possibly be for them? They don't know if we've really forgiven them or not. It's for us. We're releasing all that toxic energy, low vibrational stuff on the inside, just letting it go. The love card on this for Virgo is amazing spread, Virgo. Does say uh, red flags, eyes wide open, okay? May have to put that cornbread back in that cornbread oven for a minute. And they definitely, and I got a little pause right here. Unrequited love. That means somebody loves somebody more than you. Oh, oh, this is for them. This is their cards. They found red flags. I'm telling you, this person reaped what they sowed. It's called karma. Red flags came out. Unrequited love. And somebody has released their ex. A lot of these divines are letting those karmic relationships go. It's got to be for them. Didn't line up with Nine of Pentacles vibration for Virgo at all. They found red flags where they were at. They found unrequited love where they were at. And they have released their ex. They want to come home. Yep, there's temperance. You know, and this is a, it's a reunion card. It's Michael, the Archangel. Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael all showed up in this spread. It's about all the cooperative components coming together for you, being at the right place at the right time. It's Sagittarius, and off of the bottom of the deck, uh, I got uh, a very interesting cards. I got the Strength card, Leo. Somebody's taming the beast within. We already see all that. I got Justice, Libra, the balancing of karma between these two. Look at these pictures. They both... Kind of look like, you know, karma. I mean, the balancing, look how they're standing. You know, divine timing, patience, seeing things the way you want them to be. Uh, you know, not being all up in your head, not being all up in your heart. It's nice, man. And uh, the sun card came out. Soulmate, twin flame, life partner. Could be a time stamp. Could be dancing around the maypole. I see a lot of these coming into really union. About summertime, summertime when the living's easy. It's a nice spread, Virgo. Hope you enjoyed it. No, I did. For such a time as this, huh? Namaste, my friends. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.